Okay, so Midjourney is an independent AI app generator that turns text-based prompts into images. So if you have any kind of prompt with just written text, you will be able to generate exceptional images for your liking, for your content creation, for anything of your choice. It's similar to the OpenAI's DALI okay, method and other platforms like Stable Diffusion also generate images like this from general basic prompts. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to how to generate the basic prompts and then how to use some of the key basics as regards this uh, mid journey, how to log in and how to uh, create some of the most basic images with some simple prompts. And even later on, I will show you some key commands that you can use to enhance the quality of the image that you are creating. So to start with, all you need to do is to come to your Google and just search for Midjourney, Midjourney AI, okay, Midjourney AI at open. And you can see it over here, Midjourney.com, or you can just go ahead and type Midjourney.com and be brought into this very platform. So this is Midjourney's platform. So the next thing you need to do is just to join the bed to click on the join better join the better you just click on join the better and it's going to prompt you to log into a discord because it's a it's a program that runs in the discord platform if you don't have a discord account you can go ahead and create one okay so this is uh you've been invited to join mid journey but then you have to join you have to create an account with discord if you have an account already if you don't have you can just create the username and click on continue and follow the process it's just a normal account creation process and if you already have an account you can just go ahead and say already have an account and then you can go ahead and put in your email and the password and then log in to start using mid journey okay so let's say i'm going to use my own email and password to just log in say welcome back i'm human okay so let me check my email to just verify this and then we can move on All right so there's a verification email that's been sent to my email so you just click on verify email all right, so this is it, and you can say login. Okay, so you'll be able to see Meet Journey over here. So you can just click to get to Meet Journey. So at the home tab, you'll be able to see the creations that people are making already with just basic prompts. You can see these are sample images that people are creating with very basic prompts. So before you start, what I usually recommend is you can just come over here, check out the getting started. You can just come to getting started. And once you are in getting started you just go to take a look at the steps you can follow to create the image so go to one of the newbie bot channels so any channel that you see that is labeled newbie you can just enter that's when you can start creating your own images as a first timer so you can see newbies 28 newbie 56 newbies 86 you can just enter any of them and you start prompting your prompt sending in your prompt and within seconds you your images will be created so how to create the prompt the second step is type forward slash imagine is the first command or syntax that you need to type at the chat box and then whatever you want you can just once you type in forward slash imagine kickstart the prompt control so you can just go ahead and prompt and just ask any question that you have so the bot will send you four images in 60 seconds so within 60 seconds you will be you'll have access to four very clear images okay and then you will have the you now have the option to click the numbered buttons underneath the images you have the upscale which is lettered u u1 to u4 and then you have the variations which is v1 to v4 so you can upscale the image in terms of quality and clarity and all that using the u1 to u4 okay increasingly at the as the quality increases with the increasing order and then the variations also you can generate different variations of the same image using the v1 to v4 as well uh, so depending on which one you are selecting and then another thing you should pay attention to is you have the option to if you don't see the channels please restart your discord this is just an this is just um, a tip and then once your trial has ended you have to become a member and to become a member you just come over here and click on mid journey membership you just see the process and what and what you have access to and for detailed information about how to go you can just click on this We'll see the detail options and then to see your creations what you've created you have to go back to the mid journey account main account and then you will see everything uh, later i'll show you how to do all this in detail but for now let's start with the newbies to create some images or some basic prompts so you can go to any of the newbies like it has been highlighted so let's say we'll try this one okay so this one it's to just use it to create a mini logo okay so logo brand pffz street uh, calligraphy writing and so on so it just generated this so you can see the 
different kind of ups, upscaling okay you want to you for if you want to generate different kind of upscales to this image so you have u1 u2 u3 u4 you can upscale any of them depending on your choice and then you can do different kind of variations if you select any one of them you can select and give in different variations to it so let's say we create our own basic prompt for the first time so you just come over here down here so you have the prompt option so if you want to initiate or enable the the function for the mid journey you just have to click press on the forward slash and then you put on the margin okay just like we stated earlier so you have to hit on the space bar and then it will enable the prompt okay so right now let's say we prompt something uh robots with pink wing and so let's say and VR device looking into the future. Okay, so let's see something like this, and then we hit on enter, and let's see the prompts that we're going to have. So once you check in, you will be able to see your own prompts. Okay, so this is what we've prompted. Okay, so it's coming up. Right now it's at zero percent. So let's wait for it. Okay, so this is it at uh, coming up thirty-one percent. Then let's check okay so this is it 62 percent so let's wait for it and this is 93 and okay so this is what we have printed so you can see it this is the okay so this is the robots with the vr device looking into the future i think i kind of prefer like this one okay so this is um either either of them so you can just see these are the four var different variations that we have if you want to check in which one whichever one you want to upscale in terms of quality so this is right now it's you can upscale the first one but i think i prefer the third one so let's upscale the u3 and let's see okay so here is it upscaling the u3 all right and you can see it over here it's just been upscaled all right you can see it over here it's just been upscaled so you can check and see the quality is super super upscaled and you can now see the visibility very very clear and you can make variations of this if you want you can have different variations and you can have you can upscale the light upscale redo light upscale redo if you want to upscale also you can do better upscale redo you can do all that and you can beat on the web or you can mark this as your favorite but i think i kind of like it this way i think i like it at this point and what you should pay attention to is the clarity if you want to generate other different variations you just come all the way here and say make different variations of it and you can see over here you just kick started and you can see now it is kick starting to make other variations of that same image so you can make your selections as you move on all right you can see the same image but different variations and i think i still like the third one i still like the third one so you can still make it so this is actually how to use it to generate different kind of variations and if you want to regenerate again if you are not certain with this one you can just regenerate over here by just clicking on this and it's going to regenerate everything for you from the, using this same prompt that you've created so basically this is how to generate the images with this mid journey so if you want to see the images that you've created already you can always come to midjourney.com okay you can just come to midjourney.com and you'll be able to just log in and you will be able to have access to all the images you've created so let's just check the ones that we've created so you are back to mid journey so you can come all the way and say sign in and you can go ahead and sign in so you'll be able to see the images that you've created this is the home and you'll be able to see the images that you've created from the newest ones you can see the new one or the hot ones or the oldest or the top one depending on what kind of ranking that you want to see and if you want to see in the community you belong the existing images that have been created you can check and see the recent ones and be able to see the top ones if you want to see them by category maybe the top ones that existed in that category that you found yourself you'll be able to see them over here this is how to check in what you have and how to check in what you have generated but then let's go back to the same journey let's do one or two other things assuming we have the same prompt let's say we give another prompt so you can just go ahead and click on this um, imagine imagine and then hit on the enter and spacebar and then you can now give your prompt so let's give it a prompt like a cat wearing a headset with a glass and a school bag 
let's say we give this front and then later i will show you how to change the orientation the aspect ratio to make it okay so it's generating right now all right i think i like this uh, this creation right now it's 31 percent 62 percent so it's coming up so you can select which one you like all right okay so you can see now it's 100 percent and you can see the clarity and the so this is pretty nice this is the car this is the cat wearing a headset and a glass and with school bag i think i kind of like the let's say i like the first one it's kind of pretty funny with even the earpiece and everything so let's say i like the first one so let's see a different version of it so let's say we copy the same prompt but then i want to see it in different aspect ratio for example i can say post slash imagine and then hit the space bar and give the same prompt but then now i want it to be in landscape okay okay waiting to start all right it's coming up so you can see now the aspect ratio has been changed uh, let's just wait for it to come up all right so you can see it's getting it clearer okay so let's say everything is set so if you want to upscale any one of them you can go ahead and upscale but i think i like the third one uh this one I think I like the third one. I like the looks. It's looking closely to add the camera and then the earpiece and all that. It's really uh, ready for schooling or they are about. So you can just say you want different variations of it. You can have different variations as you see draw or if you want to upscale, you can upscale it to any to you want you can upscale anyone. So let's say we can go ahead and upscale for if you want. So another thing, another prompt that you can give is you can upscale the you can upscale the quality okay so you can just give the same uh, the same prompt with the quality upscaled usually quality is uh, between q1 to one to five okay this the command is usually dash dash q so if you want to upscale quality let's say we, we follow the same process imagine and then we give the space bar and we paste the same control and then we now put the dash dash q but then the quality ranges from one to five one the lowest and five to the highest so let's give it three with quality three and let's see what happens this is going to generate it's over here generating okay so you can see it over here a cat wearing a headset with cla with glass and a school bag quality three you can see the quality when compared with the other ones i think this is exceptionally qualitative you can see the graphics and everything very very clear you can see everything is very clear so this is how to use it and there are other bunch of commands that you can always use okay you can go ahead and just give them a try and see how you can enhance your your images okay but then the the key thing is you can prompt it anything and the the power lies in your description how you describe it and all that if you describe it nicely it's going to come out very nicely from the mid journey you will have everything you need so the only thing is your own question okay on how you frame the prompts is how you're going to get the answer so just make sure you you give detail about what you want and then you'll be able to have exactly what you what you applied for so i think basically this is how to use the mid journey to create different kind of uh, images of your choice which you can copy you can save copy the image or you can save the image as from here and save it anywhere Okay, within your pc if you want to save it somewhere you can just go ahead and save it for example in my own case and you want to save this in your desktop you can just click on save and we'll have it saved over here in png format so you can just click and you can see it very very clearly you can see very clear image generated from this um, mid journey in a nutshell this i think this does it for this simple tutorial on how to use mid journey how to create an account how to do some login and then we have be able to generate some basic prompts and generate some images very qualitative images and use them for your content creation thanks for watching if you find any value up to this point please remember to give this video a thumbs up that means a lot to me and i will see you in the next video so thank you and goodbye